We are going to identify parts of an algebraic expression using the expression 5k plus 8. In this problem, the whole thing would be considered an expression. An expression is split up into what we call terms. Terms can be identified by finding the plus or minus signs in your expression. The term will be what separates each plus or minus sign. So in this case, 5k would be a term and 8 would also be a term. In the problem 5k plus 8, we notice that we have 5. 5 is called a coefficient, and k is called a variable. A coefficient can be recognized because a coefficient is the number that is being multiplied by the variable in your expression. Every time you have a variable in your expression, you always have a coefficient as well. If you look at 8, you notice that 8 does not have a variable with it. That means that 8 is always going to have a value of 8. In my first term, the value of 5 is going to change depending on what the value of k is. But in my second term, 8 will always stay 8 because there is no variable to change its value. That means that 8 has a constant value of 8. Any number in an expression without a variable is considered a constant. Let's look at the expression 7a plus 3. In this expression, I notice that I have a plus sign, and I know that my expressions are broken up into terms based on plus and minus signs. That means that 7a, because it's on the left side of my plus sign, is a term, and 3, because it's on the right side of my plus sign, is also a term. So this expression has two terms, 7a and 3. Now let's look for a variable. A variable is a letter that represents a number in an expression. So I notice that I have an a here, which means that a is going to be my variable. Anytime I have a variable, that means that I also have a coefficient. The coefficient is the number being multiplied by our variable. So in this problem, I notice that I have a and it's being multiplied by seven. So seven would be considered my coefficient. Now we can look for any constants that might be in our expression. A constant would be a term that does not have a variable with it. Well, I notice that I have a term of three that does not have a variable, so three is going to be my constant. My next expression says h over 12 minus eight. Another way of reading this would be h divided by 12 minus eight. The first thing I'm going to look for are my terms. Remember, terms are separated by plus and minus signs, and I notice that I have a subtraction sign, which means that the term on the left and the term on the right of that will be considered a term of my expression. So that means that h over 12 is one term of this expression, and that means that 8 is another term of this expression. Now we can look for variables. I notice that I have the letter H, and I know that H is going to represent a number, so H is going to be a variable for this expression. Now, anytime I have a variable, I always have a coefficient as well. In this problem, it looks as if H is not being multiplied by anything, and in fact, H is technically being divided by 12. But anytime you have a variable being divided by a number, that's the same as saying that variable being multiplied, and then you can take this and make it into a fraction. So this would be 1 12th. If I multiplied 1 12th times h, I would actually get h over 12, which means that technically, even though it doesn't look like it, the coefficient for this would be 1 12th. The constant in this problem is going to be 8 because 8 is a term that does not have a variable with it. Next, I have 12x plus 9 minus 3p. I'm going to find my terms first, so I'm going to look for plus and minus signs. I notice that I have a plus sign here and a minus sign here. Terms are going to be on either side of those. 
So I have 12x on this side of the plus sign, and I have 9 on this side of the plus sign. I also have 3p on the right side of the subtraction sign. That means that for this expression, there are actually three terms. My terms are going to be 12x, 9, and 3p. My variables for this are going to be both x and p. Now, when I go to find my coefficients, I need to remember that every time I have a variable, I have a coefficient. So in this expression, I had two variables which means I should have two coefficients. So I'm going to look at x first. I notice that x is being multiplied by 12, so the coefficient of x is 12. Then I'm going to look at p. I notice that p is being multiplied by 3, so the coefficient of p is 3. Finally, I'm going to look for any constants that might be found. I'm going to look for a term that does not have a variable with it. Well, I notice that I have 9 here that does not have a variable, which means that 9 is a constant. Finally, let's look at the expression 6j minus 10 plus m plus 4. I'm going to look for terms by finding my plus and minus signs. So I have a minus sign here, a plus sign, and a plus sign. Those are going to separate all of my terms. So my terms are going to be 6j, 10, m, and 4. So for this expression, I have four terms, 6j, 10, m, and 4. I notice that I also have two variables. I have the variable j, and I also have the variable m. If I have two variables, that means I'm also definitely going to have two coefficients. So I'm going to start by looking at j, and I notice that j is being multiplied by 6. That means that the coefficient for j is going to be 6. Now let's look at m. Well, when I look at m, I notice it doesn't look like it's actually being multiplied by anything. But anytime you have a variable, even if it looks like there's no coefficient, there is always a coefficient. If I have m, that's the same as saying 1 times m, because any time I multiply a number by itself, that's going to give me that number. So if I do 1 times m, that gives me m, which means that even though I don't see anything here, there is an invisible coefficient of 1 on my m. Now I'm going to look for constants. Constants are any terms that do not have variables. And if I notice here, I notice that there is a term of 10 and also a term of 4 that does not have a variable. Both of these would be considered my constants.